Lee, bruh, what it goddamn be, bruh. It is Scorpion Brand Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, being so divine. We are here to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for April 2020. It showed me the money season. Shout out to every one of you who clicked this video and want to come in and chill and spill a little bit with Scorpion Red Tarot. If there is anyone who would like to book a personnel and private reading with me, only thing you got to do is click the About tab. The pricing list is there. You can reach out to me on Instagram. Send me a message and we can get you all scheduled and booked with me. If you do not have Instagram, there's an app you can download called google hangouts and you can use my email to connect with me that's the only thing we need to exchange is emails so my email is in the about tab as well um but it is scorpionreds at gmail.com again then scorpionreds at gmail.com and please feel free to utilize and use that email if these videos resonate if you don't feel comfortable with leaving your comments down in the comment section if you want to talk to me directly about whatever's going on listen to say thank you to say something resonate or say hey this is my sister's energy or my cousin's energy or my mother's energy up and down <laughs> julie brown baby you can do whatever you want to do okay that is your safe space that is your safe space and this is your safe place okay i want to give a shout out to every last one of my babies that has supported during this time we have so many new decks and what i did this season for this month i have like eight decks on the table so um some of them are old some of them are new the majority of them are new and i'm just going to pull from wherever the energy is telling me to pull and your reading is going to be however long i feel damn weird please that i want it to be so these are the new decks that you guys have sent through the Amazon wish list. I want to give big shout out to everyone who has shown any type of support. We're going to be using um, the Modern Witches Tarot. We also have the Star Seat Oracle, which just came out. And I just got the Circle of Life Tarot. So shout out to everyone um, who has been supporting and showing love to the page. All right. Because it you know gives us a new platform, a new stage with a new cut, a new color, you know. As you can see, I have a lot of, of the circular, uh, I don't know, I just need that 360 view, that full vantage view this time. So I just, I feel like everything is coming full circle for us to see and for us to believe what um, is being magnified for us. Like something is being directly brought to our attention right now. Something is being... Uh, place under the magnifying glass so it's time for us to see and make certain decisions so things can come full circle in our life so um we just want to say thank you for that so as you know we always give thanks to the creator for bringing us here and we want to acknowledge um and give thanks to all our gifts and you know for preparing us for our blessings so father god thank you so much for preparing us uh for our blessings and for this 2020 show me the money season for my libras you already know what it breathe you know that, you know, we be being patient, that we be trying to be careful, that we try to use our logic and instead of our heart this time, you know, sometimes when we put our heart on the forefront, it can get into sticky situations. So we're just trying to be balanced and, you know, use practice, practical decision making skills right now, Father God. Please be with us today and every day. Thank you so much for the steps that you have prepared and you have laid in front of us. Thank you so much for today and giving us our daily bread. And every day we give thanks. Amen. Amen. So let's get into this, you guys. Yes, let's go to archetypes deck. Let's go to archetypes. So let's see what energy. Oh, okay. You got the shaman. Okay. You got the king. And then you got the vision. So the shaman to me, you guys, that's the visionary, the healer, the mystic, you know, the one that has the old sacred practices from universes and lifetimes way before us, way before our existence. Um, there's a lot of sickness and things going on right now. Y'all know the whole Corona thing is going on. And right now, you guys are teaching everyone the power of the mind to keep them healed, to keep them whole. Y'all might be telling people to use honey and mint and lemon and, you know, to... I actually, myself, I was just in my group. No, it wasn't a group. It was a personal reading. I 
told a lot of people that were having issues with respiratory to go and grab them some mint and put some scalding hot water over top of the mint and just smell and just smell the fumes, the uh, the steam. Just sit there and just breathe it, and inhale it in, just think positive thoughts, taking all of its positive essence and how it's clearing your lungs, how it's giving you that refreshing scent and stuff like that and allow nature to take over to allow it to heal you and to replenish your body and your soul. I feel like a lot of you guys are demonstrating a lot of masculine energy. You guys are giving people pearls of gold. Do you see that? You see that pearl of gold on his fingertips? Something so simple, but yet so small, but so valuable. Do you understand? With that wax seal, it's like whoever this masculine energy, I feel like they are trying to seal. I heard their beat their patience. Something, something. It's like they're trying to seal something that they've been very patient for. It's like this golden pearl um, that they've been waiting to receive. They've had a vision. Like nature has been communicating to this person and let this king know this golden pearl is going to come into my life. And whoever this king energy right here, I feel like they're getting some type of guidance from a shaman that is helping them cleanse their spirit. That's helping them regenerate and revive their soul and like the snake here shedding old skins you know what i'm saying listen that was who they were in a different past time you know snakes in different um ancient past lives and different ancient uh customs and uh ethnicity groups snakes are a sacred animal to some and represents wisdom a creature that's very, very wise and that can make their way through cracks and crevices that certain other animals are not able to do, that is more flexible, that can shed their skin when they feel like they have already lived that journey and they understand that path in that journey and they're shedding their skin and they're with all of that wisdom taken in. All of that bounty taken in and they're ready to go forth for new, you know. So to a lot of other cultures, snakes represents wisdom. Snakes represent wisdom. Um this king has been this king, he is destined to receive a golden pearl. He's destined to receive a golden pearl. And it's about his healing. It's about his cleansing. It's about, um, like I said, that wax seal. Like I said, those birds right there. That's also forms of communication. You know, back in the day when they used to send letters, they used to, you know, take a candle, let that red wax uh, drip, and then they would stamp it with the, with the wax seal from the king. So, the king could also be God. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing, take me to the king, some, some I can bring, my heart's torn in pieces, it's my offering, yeah, take me to the king, this might very much be, if this is not a Libra masculine energy that the king is promising them communication, of after healing receiving his golden pearl you guys are receiving messages and you guys are being healed by messages of the king and you're being seen visions but let's get into this take me to the king I heard that song is so long give me guidance for my Libras yeah, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, they most definitely have left. They're on some type of soul journey. They're on a voyage for real. I just heard I'm off to see the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> like, yeah, you guys might be going on some type of soul journey for real, for real, where you just literally packed whatever you could carry with you. You left everything behind you. Listen, take me to the king. 
all I got to bring in, in, in my heart is, is torn as pieces and it's my offering. Like you must, you might not got much to where you get to this, to, to the king. I feel like the king or oh, this shaman. I don't feel like it's an actual shaman. I feel like it's your spiritual. You're being uplifted in your spiritual belief. It's like, I don't got nowhere else to go. But I know I'm just walking in faith. And I know wherever I'm going is better than here. You've snuck away. You've managed to, like, out-trick the trickster. Because you felt like, um, it can't get no more lower than this. You know, uh, typically... The Seven of Swords is someone that has kind of keep being allowed to get away with stuff. And no, this is what I'm getting. Honestly, someone has thought that they got away with something yet again. And they snuck out and they're not where they're supposed to be. And they always think, oh, I'm, I'm going to come back. I always got a little something. They always leave a little something behind to have something to come back to. But when they come back to this situation that they keep manipulating their way in and out, just slithering around like this is a nasty snake. But when they come back to for these two little swords that they got left, because they keep putting this Libra in this like they play this Libra up like it's an option because the two of swords is someone making a decision, trying to get their mind straight, trying to figure out their purpose and the truth and really looking at things logically and trying to gain some type of mental balance. And this person leaves this Libra off balance and keeps coming and going and all this lying, this manipulation, like this person is like a straight up fraud and they think that. As long as I keep this person, as long as I keep playing this person up as an option, I can keep coming back and forth and doing what I want to do. And this Libra is not even going to be there when this person returns. Everything, like, the house is going to be there. The pictures, the clothes, like, even whatever the Libra was doing, like, 10 seconds before they walked out of the door. They will see, like, I, like the Libra left... Whatever cereal they were eating on the counter still with the milk in it, everything. Like, something happened where the Libra was like, you know what, well, let me just grab my shit and get the fuck. So, especially like in this quarantine, I don't, they, whoever, wherever the, to, I think that whoever this Libra is with, they're not quarantined with who they're supposed to be with. They snuck out and was doing something else and Libra left too. You don't want to be here, I don't want to be here neither. And Libra just like, Libra might have, might have damn near left all of their clothes, everything, and just dipped. Because it's like, almost like a mental prison, if you will. You know, Libra just had enough. It's like, I don't, I don't think the Libra's in a hotel. I feel like someone's in a hotel. Why am I feeling like someone's in a hotel? I, like, wherever the Libra is, it's not even their home or something. It's somewhere where it's foreign to them. That I don't even think that they like staying here. But it's better than being here and being reminded of. Like, this isn't really lonely. You know what I'm saying? Like, they choose to seclude themselves in that way and put themselves here so they can get their mind together and really figure out what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Because, like... This shit be hurting too much, and I'm tired of it hurting. I'm ready for this shit to stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I made this choice to remove myself to get my shit together because this motherfucker think that they're coming back to something. This motherfucker's going to come back to a full house, but empty of, of, of mind, body, and soul because I'm not going to be there. I am not going to be there. I feel like the Libra is a little bit uncomfortable, but they would have been way more comfortable sitting in that environment, realizing that this motherfucker just did the same bullshit yet again, and think you're just going to keep leaving me left behind like a fucking option, like I'm just about to be sitting here waiting on you for you to choose me and make a decision. Nah, nah, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you. <laughs> That's why it's saying take me to the king. The only thing I got to offer is my heart. 
It might be small, but it might be small, but it's my offering. You know what I'm? It's like I'm. I've shared that. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. I'd rather be with. And this could be the Libra's father. They might have went back home or something like that. And it flew over there, so I'm going to let it stay over there. They might have went back home to their father's house or something. They might have went back home to their dad. They say, or um, an uncle or something. They might be chilling at an uncle's house or something. Somebody, because I feel like whoever this is, especially if this is a woman... Um, I feel like their father might have died when they were young, but like their uncle has always kind of been like, um, like the father figure in their, in their life, you know, like their uncle has always looked after them, like regardless if their father was there or not, or whoever was there, like their uncle has always been very, very supportive of them and stuff. And I feel like this uncle, whoever this is, is like kind of young. They're not like that old, like they're more hip. They're more hip. And, yeah, the Six of Cups, it's about, ooh, it's about whoever this person was. I feel like maybe their father wasn't there to care for them and give to them in a way which was healthy when they were younger. And it's like other people in this person's family knows that and always tries to lead and provide and offer some level of protection um and the father could might not have not been around because he could have been in prison so it's like the uncle or somebody um because this is the eight of swords in the reverse so it's like this uncle this king of pentacles or something could have been taken care of whoever this was until someone was released from pit from prison or something like that I feel like that's who this person has left and has went to. I'm not comfortable here. I'd rather have my own place and be somewhere that's comfortable. But this house ain't at home. Wherever that Eight of Cups was, I couldn't do that shit no more. Because I just heard it. It wasn't safe for me no more. It wasn't safe for me no more. It just wasn't safe for me no more. I need to be around more courageous men, more men that really know what it's like to be a man. Like, even if my father wasn't there, even if I didn't really have a daddy or because my father was locked up, but I'm waiting for him to get released from prison. It's like, whoever this King of Pentacles is that it is in your life could be, like I said, whoever it is, with that shaman energy, it's like, they always want they always treated you like a diamond. They always wanted to show you better and have some type of positive influence. And it's like they always let you know, even if things don't work out wherever you at, you can always come back home here. You know what I'm saying? That's why this person left. What is this? The three of wands and what is this? The three of wands and then the to the ten of swords. And it says everything is fine. Exactly. Exactly. So there was a point in your life right here with this vision. You understand? Where you came to this force, when you came to the Eight of Cups, recognizing whoever this is that you're dealing with, with the Seven of Swords and the Four of Swords. You were right here with this Three of Wands. It could have very much so been a third party situation. And um, there were too many people involved in the situation for your liking and it's like this person is not going to leave whoever this is on the side alone so it's about time for me to leave my for me to leave this whole situation alone myself but at the same time it's hard to really get up and go and that's why this shaman with this healing with your spiritual beliefs like your spiritual upbringing like what was designed for you to be like you know Someone ha truly having a vision. It really wanting you to have a king in your life. Like just because your father wasn't there for you. Or just because. 
whoever wasn't there for you in whatever way, it doesn't mean that you need to surround yourself by the same cycle of men, you know? Um, that's why this Eight of Swords is there. It's like, I want you to get out of this mental prison where you're chasing what your father was. It's like someone kind of chasing like a missing home, trying to fill in some gaps from love that they didn't receive as, as a child. Leadership and like this king, I feel like wasn't there because they were incarcerated or they were taken away from the situation or whatever reason. And someone's trying to show you different. And that's why this Ten of Swords is right there. I feel like whoever it is that you walked away from that you're getting away from, like they've stabbed you in your back. Like we already got the seven of swords, but this person just really just overkill. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't matter how many times this person try to hurt you and penetrate. You still had enough strength and energy to text your uncle and to text your family and be like, this motherfucker, I done let this bitch do this shit again. Everything is fine. I'm almost, listen, this nigga almost took me out or whoever this is almost took me out, but I'm laying here. Come get me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still holding on. I haven't given up. And... There's no more space for this person to hurt me no more. So, I'm done. You know? Really fig figuring out and feeling like enough is enough. And there's no more room for this person to penetrate my heart, to stab me in my back, to hurt me no more. Enough is enough. And everything is fine because as soon as I realize that I've had enough, it doesn't matter what... Because for many, many people, it's about... You realizing that you've had enough. It doesn't matter what anybody tells you. You're going to continue to keep repeating cycles, repeating cycles, repeating cycles. People giving you shit, telling you it's gold and you believe it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're trying to feel some burden of your father missing. or You, you know what I'm saying? Give me guidance for my Libras. What is this? The seeds of Mentaka. Seeing potential. Bringing un the unconscious to light. So. Whoever this masculine energy is. This king of pentacles energy. This shaman. They're here to assist and approach you. With their vision. Of what they see in your life. Your potential. That's why I feel like someone wants you to come on home. And to like. Regain yourself a little bit. Um, What is this say? The earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother. Slow down. Time and nature. Again. It's. It's time for you to. I feel. To feel yourself again. I feel like you even though. Wherever you're at, like I said, you're at your uncle's house, you're back home, you're somewhere, somewhere where it's, you've been away from it so long where it's foreign to you, but you kind of need safe refuge a little bit to heal, to especially to mentally heal because someone really just tried to like hurt you in a way where it, oh, here was another one. It says the void. And again, like I said, y'all been trying to fill a void, stop, embrace winter. Great cosmic boom. So, like I said, you guys have been trying to feel some type of void of your dad missing. Or I feel like yeah, it's something to do with a masculine presence not offering, not catering, not giving you a certain love. A bounty of love, a bounty of attention, a bounty of affection. And you just... Attracting the wrong type of energies that was trying to to fill a void. It's, you know, it's like in some ways you allow people to hurt you 10 times over than what they ever should. Just trying to hold on to something. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the king is trying to explain to you. It's like you're a diamond. You are a golden pearl. You're not just a pearl. You're a golden pearl. You know, you know, that's why it's like, take me to the king. 
Oh, I'm getting it. Okay, so whoever this uncle is or something, it's like that this person might be real religious or not real religious, but they kick they kick that yeah to you. You know what I'm saying? That shaman shit. They kick that healing. They kick that your spiritual principle that you're divine. You're this, you're that. And it's and it's Oh, they're, they're like whoever, who, whoever this is, it's like a vegan and all of that shit. Like, you don't like their food. And you, I feel like you do feel like it's prison because it's like, I don't want to, I want to hear what they got to say. But I really don't want to be stuck in this motherfucker eating this nasty ass food <laughs> and stuff like that. But at some point, it's like, I need to be here because he's trying to help me. He knows what he's talking about. And he's been telling me about, oh, this Ace of Cups. Yes, it's like they're trying to show you how to love again in a healthy way so that you can like fully dive in this tower moment. This tower, this had to happen. It's had to happen. So it's, it's had, and, and it, look, and here go to six, six of coins. So again, this tower moment had to happen because number one, someone was going to continue to hurt you if you didn't get to the point where you were like, you know what, everything's fine. Yeah, I let this motherfucker burn me out. It's like this person burnt you out like mentally. Like you needed a mental break, like seriously. It's like keep going back expecting someone to show you different but you know better and it's like every time that you go back and you allow this person to stab you again it's like you just it make you feel bad so it was like it's, it's time for me to stop hurting myself and regardless if I want to recognize, recognize it or not I might have been feeling the void from my parents not being there me not feeling a certain level of attention me not feeling a certain level of love maybe no one really telling me that I was a diamond no one really showing me or talking to me about spiritual principles and stuff like that it took for the Libra to come to that enough is enough stage and walk away and stop allowing someone else to make them a decision in their life this situation had to come down because number one you had to go back home because it was time for people that really love you and care for you to take care of you you see this people that really really are going to look after you i don't feel like you have to ask them for like you don't have to Ask them for a favor and you got to pay it back. It's like they want to take care of you. They just want you to fucking rest. It's just like, look at my baby. And put themselves through all this drama. Just rest. I got you. You know what I'm saying? This this needed to happen, number one, for you to kind of truly love yourself. I feel like this had to be destroyed. It had to be ripped from you. But it's to teach you how to love yourself. The true principles of life. Real love. You don't have to ask for nothing in return. Or they're not going to ask for nothing in return. You know what I'm saying? Genuine love. Receiving care without anything. You know what I'm saying? It's like you are able to go somewhere. You and your baby where you, could, you and your child could just kind of rest. And just be taken care of. Because that shit had to be destroyed for a reason. Because you had to stop trying to fill your vo fill this void with this situation and these people and in this in its place. It just wasn't it wasn't healthy for you. All right, I'm about to do this Lenormand deck and I'm about to do Alice in Wonderland and then we out of here, Libra. Take me to the king. All I have to bring is my heart that's torn and pieces. It's my offering, but it's okay. Just be quiet and just rest. I'm going to help you. I got you. I got you. You know? You had to finally decide to leave and say enough was enough. The clouds. Yeah. It was clouded vision. Like you couldn't see. And yeah, this was fate. This was like. <sighs> this burden was put on you. You know. Instead at birth. B 
because unfortunately it's like <sighs> this burden was put on you at birth because for some reason I want to say maybe um, whatever type of lifestyle or whatever was founded around you with your family you understand? Like I said, it has something to do with your upbringing, with your childhood and things like that. So it's like, unfortunately, because of the decisions your parents made, it created your lifestyle then on. Because of how you were raised. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it makes sense that you would continue holding on. It's like it almost sealed your fate. You know what I'm saying? It almost sealed your fate. Because you've seen other people do it. But it was your fate. Where you were going to elevate. Above these. Her hereditary. Clouds. These problems. This blurred vision. It's like people clouded by. People clouded by rejection. And instead of running from it, running towards it. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to prove yourself or like allowing other people to delay your path and things like that with their problems and their drama. And you've seen other people do it. You know what I'm saying? Mice. This same type of worry, this same type of chaotic lifestyle, this thing was like bred into you from your family upbringing. It's like you were shown how to accept crumbs and to withstand the pressure and allow people to keep coming back and handing you shit and you just kind of like just dealing with it and just like dealing with the lesser. You know what I'm saying? What is this? The writer. So, it took for the right person to come into your life. So, unfortunate, as unfortunate as this tower and all of this stuff, all of this shit was faded. Because it took for all of this stuff to happen to you, not to anybody else in your family, because you were the chosen one that was going to be the writer, the one chosen to make a difference. You were going to be a little bit different than what was expected from the norm of everybody in your life. Even though you might have accepted this overkill, eventually you were strong enough to walk away. There's, there's still people in your family that's still de dealing with the same type of shit. You understand? And that is just the fate that they decided to have. But for some reason, like you were placed under some level of protection because whoever this was that was incarcerated that could not be in your life there was someone appointed to kind of look after you spiritually um kind of uplift you and show you that there is better out there regardless of what your family foundation is you know what i'm saying and that you can always come here and i got you you know what i'm saying if you want better i want better for you the journal you know what i'm saying so there might be some type of secrets or some information that you don't know about yourself. You know what I'm saying? That you don't know about yourself that you will later gain privy to. But I really do feel like you have been chosen to go through this journey to kind of change the path and the fate and the story of your family. Because this is like a hereditary void that has been placed you seen other people do it so that's why you felt like it was right to allow someone to do this to you but you were born a little bit different you were born with the purpose of changing this narrative and this story you weren't going to be the one that's going to continue to sit there and wait and allow someone to delay your future and continue to sit you to the side as an option and come and go and no 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 that wasn't the vision for you it was already written in the cards that you were going to separate yourself and realize what is this void that I'm trying to feel all of this was faded because eventually 
this cloud is going to be lifted, but it's going to have to take the strong one. The strong one that comes to the king. Take me to the king. All I have to bring is my heart that's torn in pieces, but it's my offering. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are ready to shed that skin. What is this? The five of diamonds, okay? It says, beware of the Jabberwocky, my son. The jaws that bite, the claws that catch. So the five of diamonds is someone that has a different sense of spiritual belief. Do you understand? They have spiritually um, elevated themselves. They have understood that as above, so below. If I knew better, I do better. And I'm sitting up here watching these people play with the Jabberwock. And I've seen what happened to my mother. I've seen what happened to my aunties. I've seen what happened to my uncles. Where he's told me about situations where he was, you know, fighting and dealing with his own demons. Trying to fill some type of void and blah, 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 blah. If I've seen what this has done to others, then I have to know that my fate can't be no different for me. I have to spiritually uplift myself and elevate and change. I have to want better. Five represents change. It represents travel. It represents freedom. It represents being quick with it and adaptable. You know? Conflicts that creates major change in your life. Let me tell you, uh, give you just some key words here as to what that means. The Five of Diamonds. It means karma patterns, cause and effect. Magnetic attraction, the law of attractions, thought that create experience, create charisma, animal magnetism, sexuality, personal space, a local area, a home environment, furniture, a large personal possession, a property, your speech, the act of speaking, an argument, the legal judgment or a court case, city life, but it means karma patterns. Karma patterns. As above, so below. You know? I seen what happened to them. So what makes me think that my fate, that the cross that I have to bear, is going to be any different? Beware of the Jabberwocky, my son. The jaws that bite. The claws that catch. I get it. You told me this before and I didn't listen. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you studied this book already and you were already aware but somehow it was like you still walked into the flames but at this point right here where you stand with this writer card it's like i've arrived to a new state of consciousness and awareness with this nine of hearts it's like i find some level of emotional fulfillment and satisfaction within myself even the only thing i have to bring is my heart to the pieces i know i'm still what is this the golden pearl it might not be that big. It might be small. But it's all I have to bring. And look, there you go to Ten of Diamonds. My name means the shape that I am. A good, handsome shape that is too. The Ten of Diamonds. Listen, this is like the Ten of Diamonds here. And in the end of things, once you decide that enough is enough, you call for help and you get up and you want something better for yourself. That's when the end of that phase happens and the best part of your life can ever start. You understand? You went from the five of diamonds to the ten of diamonds. And the ten of diamonds, my dear, means satisfaction, success with money, financial security, a large sum of money, material wealth, riches, freedom from financial worries, speed, fuel, nuclear energy, spiritual energy, flight and airplane, the wind. Things is taken off like the wind. Nuclear energy. Freedom from financial worry or any moments and feelings of lack. So like I said, you had to realize karmic patterns. You had to accept help from the shaman where this person was trying to get you to shed that old skin and recognize that you are the diamond. You know, accepting death and rebirth and realizing that that's a damn blessing do you understand sometimes you got to release and you have to remove yourself from situations and you have to decide that enough is enough you can't be sitting back waiting for motherfuckers to let you go you got to let them go 
and you got to walk away and you got to change the fate of your existence regardless of what happened to anybody in your past present or even in your future you know i seen you guys make the mistakes i don't need to make them again i don't need to make them again you jump right through all the little bullshit right through all the bullshit and you went right to the five to the ten so i'm going to end it right there um whatever god is trying to take from you right now allow him to take it especially if they ain't there and if they're not present like if they're not present and they're off doing other things making you a decision make the decision for them leave so when they get back they're thinking they got something to grab onto they better grab onto their nuts baby all right because we ain't there no more i love you libra we out